Joy, just tell me when, when you first met Stanley Kubrick. My first day is, you know, going through the gates and you're told which stage to go to and you arrive on the stage. And um, talking to other, other people who the, the art director and people like that. Um, and then three guys walk in. And they're all almost dressed the same, you know, scruffy looking, um, navy blue. Um, and because I didn't know quite what Stanley Cooper looked like. And, and he was quite young, he was in his, what was he, 35, something, 36, and that is, so they're all about the same age. And um, thankfully, one of them said, Oh, Stanley, this is, you know, and so I knew that which one was Stanley. And he just, hi, you know, he comes over and shook my hand. Um, looked at looked at the set that was um, being worked on, nodded, and was talking to. Quite, it was Con Pedersen and uh, Doug Trumbull, who I used to call his henchmen because he was nearly always when he came round, he was nearly always with them, you know, because they discussed all the special effects together. I just thought he was so quiet, incredibly quiet, um, because he hardly said a word to me. Um, I mean, but subsequent to that. Thinking of him, what what I thought uh, he was, um, very thoughtful. I mean, just a lot lot of thinking, a lot, lot of um, you know. He's quiet. He lets other people. He in meetings, he let other people talk. And I mean, I I always use the word humble when I used to say. I mean, he used to actually ask you what you thought, what you thought, and you think, well, you know, he's a big Stanley Kubrick, and he asked you what you thought. Um, and I think that that's quite quite amazing because he then well, or that's what that's what he did, didn't he? He has surrounding him all these people with, you know, top of their profession, etc., etc., and he takes a bit from everybody and he puts it together. How would he work with somebody like you then, for example? Well, it was it was always. Um, I I mean, I used to go to the meetings. Um, and we used to talk about the next shot and how he'd like the tabletop to look like. I mean, he's even done little tiny. I mean, I, I've got something on a um, almost the size of a um, a theatre ticket. Well, the old theatre tickets, not the ones now. <laughs> I was thinking of <laughs> two inches by by one inch. Um, he'd do a, just a little diagram of what what he wanted. Like you know, I want the horizon about there, and I want some large craters here, and perhaps. I wanted to see something up the side, and um, so I'd go away, and, and we, I started. Um, and he, he would come in at odd, odd times and have a look and see how it was getting on, but not, not, make, any, not any, make any criticism until it was actually at the finished stage and, and, and shot. Um, because they used to do movie shots to start with, but uh, I mean, on how the film was done in the end, they were all stills.